Greetings viewers, welcome back to the tailgate of my sandbar. Before we get started, yes, parts are ordered for the sandbar and they are on the way. Yes, the rocker cover gaskets are ordered for the 2013 Crosstrek. Apologies uh, for the lack of Subaru and repair content, but we've got it on the way now. So with that said, we have another unboxing, another tool haul. This is a Japanese tool haul. Been waiting on this one for quite a while. It actually got here much faster than anticipated. Amazon Japan does not fail to deliver. This shipped out on, I believe, a Thursday and was to me on a Friday. So again, about two days from Japan to me in South Carolina. Amazon Japan and DHL do not play. So with that said, let's pop it open and see what I got. I do have a new Subaru specialty tool to show you and we will be featuring that in an upcoming video. Anyone in the upstate of South Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina area that has a BRZ GT86 or FRS, if you would contact me if you need spark plugs replaced in your vehicle and can leave it with me for about 48 hours. I need it to film a video. One for spark plug replacement on that chassis and two for the use of this special tool we're gonna look at that was designed specifically for the BRZ FRS 86 GT chassis and spark plug replacement. So we've got some tools from Koken, which we've seen uh, multiple things from Koken in the past, but we also have some stuff from Tone. We haven't featured anything from Tone on the channel as far as I recall, uh, but they are another Japanese tool producer. So let's go ahead, open up the box and see what we got. So I guess we'll go from smallest item to largest. Starting off, we've got this little tiny baggie from Koken. This is a 2441 M-8. This is an eight millimeter quarter inch drive universal with the nut grip technology in it. We've had these in previous videos. We bought a 10, 12, and a 14, if I recall correctly. I don't know how I didn't get an eight before, but the other day I was working on a Ford Explorer doing a mode actuator or blend door actuator, I can't remember which, and I went to grab my eight millimeter nut grip universal because I needed it for that special nut gripping uh, technology with the flex and discovered I didn't have one. I only had a 10, 12, and a 14. So had to go remedy that, pick this up. I believe they're about 35 bucks US. I'll have, try to put a link in the description for each one and the price converted. Uh, so these things are really great. I love the nut grip sockets from Koken. I really thinking about getting a full set of their 3 8 and quarter inch deep and shallows with the nut grip as well uh, to go along with the Z-series sockets I've already got. Uh, just because better than a magnetic socket because they'll pick up non-ferrous metal. So aluminum fasteners or stainless steel, anything like that, they can pick up. You don't have to worry about it. Also, you don't have to worry about junk getting stuck to the magnet. I've got a set of uh, Sun X and a set of Mac uh, quarter inch impact magnetic sockets and I love them they're great but they don't work on you know non-magnetic fasteners and as well crud and stuff gets stuck up in there and you got to dig it out with a flathead screwdriver once in a while and you can't ever get the stuff off it's just kind of you know little metal shavings and iron sand stuff like that just gets in there and gums up the magnet so first on the list uh, second up another one from Koken this is the 22 millimeter lug socket. We looked at, I believe the first haul, I got the three piece set, which is a 17, 19 and a 21 millimeter, if I recall correctly. Not sure, but I needed a 22. I think the 22 is the right size for the Duramax. Uh, so I went ahead and picked one of those up. Part number on this is 14145PM1. 10-22 and it is color coded white I believe the 17 mil is blue the 19 is red and the 20 or 21 whichever it is is yellow so our 22 is a white socket these have the ultra low profile uh, thin wall design and they also have the nice plastic sleeve over them so you're not going to scratch up the inside of your wheel uh, when removing lug nuts, they also have a little plastic cap inside. So on your chrome 
uh, button head lug nuts. You don't scuff up the tip of the lug nut as well. Really great sockets, really enjoyed using them so far. Let's see, next up, I guess we'll go ahead and look at the Tone Subaru Specialty Socket Set. Uh, this is part number PG86S. It is a four-piece set from Tone. It is specifically designed for BRZ, FRS, and GT86 spark plugs. Normally, when replacing these spark plugs as per the factory service manual, you need to lift the engine for clearance to get to the spark plugs. Uh, there are some workarounds where you don't have to raise the engine, uh, but this set here is specifically designed for that purpose. You have three extensions, each of, I believe, a two-inch extension and then two one-inch extensions. As I've uh, mentioned on previous Subaru spark plug replacement videos, I showed you my one-inch snap-ons. These are actually uh, smaller than those one-inch snap-ons. Uh, for the job, a lot of you had trouble finding a one-inch extension, say Harbor Freight or other uh, cheaper tool brands. Uh, it's kind of a higher-end tool manufacturer thing to get like little one-inch extensions and 3 8 drive, it seems. Uh, but this set we'll look at a little bit more in depth. And again, like I said, we're gonna have a video featuring this set, but it's a thin wall, 14 mil spark plug socket with a magnet in it. The cool thing about this is all three extensions and the socket have a 17 millimeter hex on the end. So you can turn this whole setup with a 17 millimeter box end wrench, ratchet wrench, etc., Or you can put a 3 8 drive ratchet on it as well to turn it. So giving you a lot more room between the frame rail and the cylinder head, uh, putting a wrench in there to turn this rather than having to try to fight to get a 3 8 ratchet in there or a 3 8 gutted uh, quarter inch ratchet in there. Just gives you much more room using a wrench. Moving on from there, we've got some ratchets. This is a Tone, part number RH3CH. It is a, a 3 8 inch 9.5 millimeter drive ratchet in a quarter inch super compact headed ratchet body. It is 72 tooth. It has a quick release mechanism on it. And uh, it is a very fine ratchet for 72 teeth, very comparable to the Snap-on uh, T72 quarter inch. Uh, I don't have one handy. I can run to get it at the, out of the toolbox to compare the head size, but I'm pretty sure this is much smaller than a Snap-on uh, T72 head. Uh, the main reason I got it is one 3 8 drive in a quarter inch body. So lots of space savings. Gonna try it as a Subaru spark plug ratchet. As you saw in the previous videos, uh, the spark plug replacement on the FA20 in the, uh, I mean the FB20, excuse me, in the Crosstrek, I had my Frankenstein Matco ratchet, which is I believe the 13 or 11 inch uh, quarter inch drive locking flex, and I put the 3 8 uh, drive guts in it. It's been a great ratchet for that purpose. I really wish I'd bought the longer one. I believe Matco makes up to like a 15 or 16 inch long quarter inch locking flex. And I believe the one I've got is a lap, no, I think mine's a nine. And I think they make a 13 or a 14. Either way, I should have got the longer one. I didn't know about it at the time. My Matco dealer only had the nine, uh, but it was a 40th anniversary. So again, we'll get a closer look at this one, pop it off of here. Uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing me use it in future videos. Next from there, we've got another Tone ratchet. Uh, extra long flex head, this is RH3FHL. It is a 3 8 inch 9.5 millimeter drive, 72 tooth as well with a very compact head. Again, something that would probably come in handy on Subaru spark plugs. Uh, it's pretty compact. We'll get out a snap-on FLL F80 and uh, what else can we compare it to? I think I've got a Mac, uh, we got the Mac Axis extra long handle part number. It's probably a mile long knowing Mac, uh, but we'll compare it to that and get it off the board. I'm sure you'll see this in future videos as well. The flex on it, actually this one's pretty easy to pop off of here. Uh, the flex on it is pretty cool. It's a toothed flex with multiple positions, kind of like how Snap-on and Matco do their locking flex. There's just no locking in here, no button, no button or trigger to uh, lock it. It's just a really strong detent. So 
when the joint wears, it's not gonna get all floppy unless the spring in here goes out. But since this is riveted together and not a screw or a bolt like uh, most of the modern tool truck ratchets that are flex head, this is probably non-serviceable and uh, would have to be warrantied out. I'm not sure what Tone's warranty is on their hand tools. Moving on, we've got a Koken Z Series 3726Z-280. This is 280 millimeter long, 3 8 inch flex with the soft grip on it. The Koken uh, 3725Z, this was, I believe, a ratchet I bought in my first Koken haul video. I absolutely love these Z-Series ratchets. This has quickly become my favorite 3 8 ratchet. And a lot of people commented, why in the world would you want a 36 tooth ratchet in a world where 80 uh, or 72, 80, 88, 90, 120, you know, the higher the tooth count, the better it seems. Well, until you use one of these 36 tooth Kokens, you probably won't understand. I was, uh, when I first saw they were 36 tooth and this was like their premier series, I was like, why in the world would they make a premier, like super professional high quality series with only 36 teeth? That seems insane. But to be only 36 teeth, this ratchet has a very uh, low swing arc. It's not, you know, comparable to like 120 tooth or a 90 tooth, et cetera, but it is a very tight ratchet. The thing that absolutely wins me over with this ratchet is the back drag. The back drag on these Coke and Z-Series ratchet is almost non-existent. You can basically start ratcheting on a completely loose nut or bolt without it turning backwards on you. Uh, they're just wonderful to use. I find myself grabbing this one every time I need a 3 8 in a standard length. If I need a long handle, of course, uh, I've grabbed a Mac or a snap on, but now that I've got this longer flex, I'm sure it will be getting used uh, quite a bit. I do wish I'd bought another ratchet spinner just for this one. I love the Koken ratchet spinners. Uh, I believe they're only like 12 bucks. That is the 3756Z. This is the one made for the 3 8 drive in the 3 8 ratchet head. Uh, they have one as well for the 3 8 drive in the compact head, and they have one for the quarter inch as well. They also have a quarter to 3 8 adapter up and down if I recall correctly uh, but with being a long flex I most likely won't need the ratchet spinner on it because I'll be pulling back here and not choked up on the head but at any rate I wanted a longer handle one so I grabbed it I uh, really wish I could get the long handle non-flex but for some reason every time I found one on Amazon Japan it is not available for delivery in the US. Whoever the seller is does not sell outside of Japan so it's been a little bit troubling to get it. Uh, I recently actually just today talked to Koken USA. Yes Koken does have a USA division and they are uh, trying to gear up sales and uh, get things going to get Koken more uh, known in the US, so hopefully we'll have a good source very soon to buy Koken Japanese tools here in the USA without having to go to Amazon Japan, do conversions, and pay, uh, you know, kind of steep shipping from Japan to the US. So now we move to the Mac Daddy, the grand finale, uh, the big bad ender here. This is the Koken 4285Z. I just love everything about Koken. The more I learn about Koken, the more I see the products. I just love their packaging. I love the presentation of the tools. I love the finish on the tools. I love how they work. I've actually absolutely loved using the Koken stuff. And uh, those of you who have asked, I will be doing a long-term review video very soon on the Koken tools, how they've held up, and uh, you know, if I recommend them, uh, price for price them and snap on everything else or any other professional truck series, uh, truck series, any other truck, uh, tool truck tools, you know, to compare them with. So we've got our basic cardboard box here for the Koken uh, socket set. I gave you the part number, but didn't describe it. This is the Z-Series half-inch drive set. I had the Z-Series quarter and three-eighths, but I didn't have the half-inch. So 
Half inch is kind of limited. They only do shallow sockets as far as I can see in the Z series on the half inch drive. They only offer one half inch drive ratchet, breaker bar, universal and ratchet spinner. They do not have deep well sockets. This kit basically encompasses all of the half inch drive uh, Z series stuff. So without further ado, let's unbox it. I will have a standalone video on this as well, comparing it to a comparable snap on set. And we're gonna just see how the Japanese holds up against the Snap-on. So first off, check this out. Metal case. When's the last time you saw a socket set come in an actual freaking metal case? Snap-on hasn't done this since like the 60s, 70s, nor has any of the other uh, tool truck brands really. This is a thing of years past. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They give you a steel freaking case, not a blow molded plastic, nothing that's going to end up in the landfill, you know, something that's recyclable if you don't want to keep it, but something that's made of something and going to stick around for a long time. It's going to take abuse. And, uh, you know, it's just amazing that it was a metal case. I had no idea until I opened it up. So with that said, let's go ahead and open this up and take a look at the set. The one thing I'm uh, pretty excited about, or just about most excited about, is this. I finally got Koken stickers. And I think this little round one here is gonna go on the back of the sandbar with my uh, up garage sticker that I got with my wheels. So putting these away to the side for safekeeping. But uh, check this out, check out this presentation. That's a thing of beauty right there, guys. I mean, gorgeous. You got your die cut foam, black on top, red insert. You got your half inch ratchet, half inch breaker bar, two extensions, universal joint ratchet spinner, and then your sockets, which are eight millimeter to 32 millimeter. Just, just amazing. I know I sound like I'm gushing over tools, but like, I really, really like tools, guys, if you haven't noticed. and. Man, this, Koken does it right. The Japanese and their attention to detail and the quality of their work in anything they do is just amazing. Uh, it kind of reminds me of how the US used to be, you know? So with that said, we're gonna get down here and get some beauty shots, get the macro lens on and take a look at this set and, you know, play around with it a little bit, but as beautiful as this set looks, it will be getting used. It will be put into the rotation of everything else, and we're gonna test it out and see how stout it really is. Koken prides themselves on being built to a better standard with their ratchet sockets, et cetera, uh, being made to hold more force than is required for like JAS, Japanese Industrial Standard, and other metrics for tools. And really quick, let's go ahead and pop out the half inch drive ratchet Put the ratchet spinner on there and take a test drive. This will be a 36 tooth mechanism as well. But again, it's insane how tight this thing is to be 36 tooth. It's got the swing arc of a fine tooth ratchet and that back drag is just non-existent. So nice. I hate putting my greasy mitts on this stuff, but again, they're tools and they're gonna get used for their intended purposes. Take out this 32 mil. Uh, I doubt we could go crack a Subaru CV axle nut loose with this setup. I don't think we got quite enough torque on this half inch ratchet, uh, but I bet it would take the abuse with no issues. Buttery smooth. So guys, that'll do it for the day's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.